Turtle free restaurant. We aren't allowed to go there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> As we approached Green Turtle Key, we came upon what looked to be a delightful anchorage at Settlement Harbor. We dropped the anchor and spent a calm evening in a protected but gusty anchorage. We were excited to find this little spot because of its proximity to No Name Key. It's so close we can take the dinghy all the way over to see the pigs. <laughs> Don't get too close to the pigs here. <laughs> After a very brief pig diversion, we got back on a more important task of finding dinner. One thing we really noticed in the Abacos is how much more reef access there is compared to the Exumas. We motored around to the outer windward side of No Name Key, where there is no shortage of fish filled reefs and again, easy access to tons of dive moorings.
We just got back from going to No Name Island. Um, we saw the pigs and Randall did some spear fishing and he caught a fish. Um, we made it back just before the rain started and we also came back to find that our boat had moved 200 feet or so. Um, Clearly somebody either hit us or hit our more likely hit our anchor line you know with a keel or something and pulled the anchor out of the ground and we drifted for a little ways. Yeah. But there doesn't seem to be any damage to the boat, so we don't think anybody really hit us. Yeah. But it is kind of strange that we just randomly moved that far. Several boats <laughs> that were here when we went on the dinghy trip, though, are gone since we got back. Left while we were gone, and one of them just struck our anchor line. Probably. Yeah. But now we are going to move into a protected bay because the wind is going to be shifting directions throughout the rest of the day and night. So right now we are at... We're still at Green Turtle Key where we've been anchored. Um, we're just going to move into one of the bays, White Sound. We're going to move into there. And yeah, it's like right next door. Hopefully there's enough room for us in there. Everybody and their, their dog's been motoring in there in the last like 20 minutes. So we better get a place too. Yeah. We had originally like thought that we should get in there before everybody else did. But we needed to wait till high tide because there's a shallow spot that's only four feet deep and we drop five. We just barely squeezed into white sound at high tide and we're lucky enough to find one of the last good anchorages. We want to be in a really secure spot for the high winds which are predicted to box the compass over the next couple of days. All right, so right now we are anchored at Green Turtle Key in white sound. Yeah. Um, it's a nice little bay with terrible holding terrible holding. Yeah, Randall dove down to check the anchor and found a lot of chains and an outboard motor and an engine block Just a lot of crap and junk down there. Um, our anchor is actually hooked onto a chain right now It's yeah. probably the only thing that held us into place. Yeah, because it drug for 12 feet before it grabbed that chain when we were setting it. Yeah, we, we were trying to set it and we're like, we're not yeah. stopping. And then all of a sudden we did. We're like, oh, okay. And then he dove down there and it's not good. It stretched this long, heavy chain. I was like, yeah, that'll hold us great. We'll just leave it there. And the wind is um, forecasted to change directions. Right now it's coming out of like the east southeast or something and it's gonna clock around and come out of the west um, by tonight and so we're hoping all the other boats are anchored just as well because we don't want to be hit or caught like we were earlier today <laughs> yeah so and we're thinking maybe when we drug earlier today somebody didn't snag us maybe we were just in this putting mush in the bottom and didn't yeah. realize it but it seemed like the anchor I mean it grabbed we anchored but... all night long and didn't have any yeah. problems and it was kind of gusty I was up and checking stuff all night long so um but who knows I didn't dive on it so we don't know we're just mm -hmm. guessing yeah I don't know but we drug about 200 feet or so just a long ways yeah so hopefully in here it's a really tight bay and there's a lot of boats in here, so we're hoping that we don't move and nobody else moves. Uh, apparently it has history of boats dragging all the time and it's just not a good spot. So if you come to anchor here, just be warned. Um, right now we are gonna try to go um, to shore, find a dinghy dock, maybe find some ice cream. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. But we'll see. Oh, and our friends from the lightning storm are anchored in here also. There's <laughs> Rascal and Inspire. And Rascal radioed us when we came in and said hi. And they said that they heard all about us saving uh, the catamaran the other night. So that was kind of cool that they'd heard about it. We're famous! Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, there's a little wake. Yeah, they said that the word around is that the smallest boat in the anchorage saved the largest boat in the anchorage with yeah. their anchor. So that's pretty cool to hear that that story. So yeah. Good time. All right, let's go.
Turtle free restaurant. We aren't allowed to go there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I don't know if he was like playing that to be his pet dog or something, or a wagon, or what. But the, wa the wagon dog. <laughs> We just got attacked by a bazillion mosquitoes walking through that forest. Yeah. I had like a pin on me at one point. We were running for our lives. Yeah. Now I'm itching. I think we're okay now. <laughs> Maybe for now. We'll if, probably be more. If you consider being covered in mosquito bites okay. I've had mosquito bites lots this trip. Not me. We're so relieved to have found such a well-protected anchorage nearby for waiting out the storm and we're really looking forward to exploring this island and taking it easy for a couple of days while we wait for better weather.